Acharya ji, whenever you have been asked what is consciousness, you have simply said that all that is mind, mind stuff is consciousness. Uh, may a question that's not relevant personally to me, but still I thought like. material stuff is visible it can be touched so that is one thing the other thing is the atman which is beyond knowledge and all this consciousness thing is somewhere in between so i mean many people have asked this foolish question where does consciousness reside and everything i'm not trying to ask that but still like what is it what constitutes it how does it work see how does this material body come to be conscious is a great mystery there is no answer to that you cannot similarly answer the question how does this material body come to become unconscious hmm? or how does prana leave the body Ramana Maharshi used to explain this by saying that there is a Jad Chetan Granthi somewhere in the body, where the Jadta, which is the material body, meets consciousness, hmm? pure consciousness. And he used to say that 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 Granthi, that knot, is the cause of all human suffering. so you have to sever this knot you have to cut that knot somewhere but that was one symbolic way of just pointing towards something about which nothing concrete can be said and that's not a great disadvantage because nothing concrete need be said we do not really need to know how we came to be conscious or how does this material body start showing conscious characteristics that is not very topical what we need to know is how does this consciousness acquire suffering and how can it be liberated from suffering that's the moot question hmm? obviously consciousness does have a material component to it you could say that the material component of consciousness resides in the brain or you could say somewhere else in the body science would say brain if something happens to your brain that affects your consciousness that is obvious so at one end consciousness is material or at least has a material base or at least has a material pole on the other hand consciousness shows characteristics that are not at all material in fact consciousness seems to be suffering from material contact hmm? so that mystery is what is consciousness that mystery is what is man a kind of sandwich between freedom and material hmm? our consciousness is part transcendental and part physical it suffers from this in betweenness it is neither fully transcendental nor fully and that suffering now the suffering can be overcome in two ways one die which means become fully material or drink when you drink again consciousness loses its transcendental heights and sinks down almost into something very chemical very material hmm drug yourself down that is another way to alleviate suffering Are you getting it and somehow unfortunately these have been taken as the easy ways there are chemical drugs and there are mental drugs there are all kinds of intoxicants around you can take them in 
get high, get inebriated and allow yourself at least a momentary freedom from the experience of suffering. The other way to get rid of suffering is to leave material very far behind. In betweenness is the problem. You have to either go that side or go this side. You have to either move fully towards the sky or you must accept sinking down into the earth. Spirituality is about taking the former route, the former option. Rise up, leave the material behind. It is possible. That's the spiritual approach.